he's gonna throw an awesome. It's down there for sure. Uh, we're just throwing out some bugles while we're going down this hill trying to sound like elk. We just heard a bugle down this way, I'm pretty sure. And he just popped up again. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can Let's go, dude. get him in. I think we've got two or three bowls, almost triangulated. This is insane. I mean, we just pulled in here 15 minutes ago. I got my man, our son Isaac. I got his mountain house going. Jeez. And I was getting mine ready, and we just heard this scream. We didn't really believe it at first, and then the chuckles came, and they've just been going now. I think we're gonna have a hard time. Oh, man, it's going off. I think we're gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight. Hi, it's my first morning out here. We're just getting ready to go, and I just heard a bugle where we were hearing him last night. So. He's painted up now, ready to make it happen. We've done a couple calling setups and none of them all really worked out. The bugle was last night and this morning got our hopes up, but we've had no encounters or calls back. The wind's starting to change, so we're just going to take a little break and just uh, wait it out a little bit. snacks and now we're hiking again it's getting hot I'm trying to get to this knob up here nothing's talking really after daybreak this morning tons of blowdown it's getting a little frustrating what's that just be like well we got the bad luck charm here you know it's tough and we got him he's all quits you know you could see a million one year, and not any of the next, you know. I think it's just, he doesn't attract elk, so it's gonna be tough. He forgets that when he was nine, he filmed me kill my first bull at 14 yards. And that was after having a cow and a calf at 10 yards. That was, that was a long time ago. But yes, he's right. It's been slow. Every time he's had an elk tag in his pocket, we haven't seen an elk. And that's frustrating. This morning is a repeat <laughs> of that. We need to see elk and we need opportunities. So we're about 17 miles in here right now. We're just going to bomb out. Should take us about 23 minutes. No, we're not very far in here. We're just going to bomb out and go to another spot with a lot of north facing timber. And go find some damn elk. That's what we're going to do.
located to a new area. We're gonna just hike down this trail. I don't know, I'm trying to stay hopeful. It's only the first day, so. This afternoon sucked. We spent most of the time driving, trying to find a place that wasn't covered in people. I don't even know, we saw tons of people. Every nook and cranny, every potential camping spot. There's RVs, tents, but came to this spot which has been on the back of our minds. And it seems rad. What's up, my man? Yeah. Let's see if I can get this manual focus dial. Well, picked a little camp spot off the side of the road. We got the truck leveled. I don't know, we had fun. We found a cool little lake that was neat. And we had a bull bugle at us on our way out. We're thankful for that. But we are a little bummed for sure. Catch you guys tomorrow morning, hopefully, with a pile of elk. So, today, we're trying a new spot. Hopefully, there's more elk moving around here that it's not that much hunting pressure. And our plan is to just get like about a mile back in the trail and call a little bit. But hopefully, we can get, you know, someone all riled up.
here's the deal, folks. <laughs> elk hunting's tough. I've been trying to get an elk in front of this guy for three years now. And I have struck out in every way possible. We haven't seen one. We're three miles into it today. Nobody around. Amazing looking out country with some sign. But they're not talking and we can't see them. So it makes it really tough. I know a lot of you hunters out there have experienced the same stuff and I hope you can appreciate the effort. We're gonna keep trying and make it happen. If you guys want to see this young man kill his first bull, make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> we, we do appreciate it. We really do. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Again, thanks for everybody who has left positive comments. we still got a lot of season in front of us, and we've got about a day left to make it happen for Isaac on this trip. Hang on here. Keep watching. It's gonna happen. After sitting around for a little bit, uh, we decided that we're gonna move up to a more open spot and just sit down and try and see if we can catch an animal trying to, you know, go in some midday water and catch one. I don't know if, if the net's big enough to catch an elk, but we'll, we'll try. Uh, you can just tell normally because there's no elk here. We sat here for a long time, I don't know how long, I, uh, but nothing came in. I don't know what to do. We just busted some animals in the timber. Bombing our way out of here, it sounded like elk. We couldn't see him. doesn't help the situation but I think they busted out and they weren't looking back so we'll keep our eyes open on the way out but frustrating we really need to see elk <sighs> so we are getting out of here we're gonna go to a spot where you can glass and hope we can find something to make a play on tonight or in the morning because tomorrow morning is our last hunt for at least a couple weeks our last hunt together for at least a couple weeks and I gotta get my man in front of some elk so that's what we're doing we're almost back to the truck it was a nice day we had a great day in the woods. It sucked for elk hunting. So we didn't film anything tonight. We just parked the truck where we did last night, unloaded it, made dinner, and just about to kind of shut up shop and a bull bugles, I don't know, a couple hundred yards across the way. And now we're just waiting for him to do it again. Always lifts the spirits. What do you think? He's just, he's just teasing us right now. He knows. He knows that we're trying to get him. 
Exactly. We do understand this is part of their game. It's a different story when it's light outside. We're gonna enjoy it anyways. So, we're back at the same trail as the first night we were here. It's kind of a Hail Mary at this point. Nothing has really been working, so we're hoping to be in the right place at the right time. That's it for the hunt pretty much. I mean, we're back at the truck. We're just gonna pack up and head home. Make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you like the video, like and comment, and peace out. Oh, and I don't wanna forget to give a quick shout out to Dr. Pepper for fueling this hunt. <sighs> Delicious. Go get your Dr. Pepper today.